Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I achieved this hairstyle. Yes. So starting off with a fresh head of hair. I've blown it out. I'll be using the Yaki braid. So it's not pre-stretched, so I do have to stretch the hair out. Can I just say one thing about this hair, guys? Don't buy it. Okay, don't buy it. Okay, okay, don't buy it. Okay, I think it was like seven rand or something. Seven rand, if I'm not mistaken, seven or eight rand a packet. So of course I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair. Oh, by the way, guys, I just did a trim. It feels like I chopped my whole head off. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair in the middle of my head ear to ear this is the easiest way for me to dissect my head in half <laughs> i don't know guys i don't know but yeah this is the easiest way for me every time when i do any plating or braiding or anything of that nature so once i have the hair in two parts i do have to use a mirror and wow guys it is so difficult getting parts wow that's where most of the time is consumed is getting the hair parted carefully it's like you have to go back look in the mirror go back wow 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 guys so yes parting the hair and then i'm going ahead and using this uh black locking gel i just love this gel because it does the thing guys and also it helps the hair grow by the way and then i'm going to go ahead and start sectioning the hair and i'm just doing um you know more partings with the gel and also the ends of the hair because my hair is quite fluffy and here i just showed you how i separated the hair so I, I used about five pieces per per hair so yes i did lose the footage for the hair guys please forgive me so for the hair at the back so i can only show you how i planted the hair in the front but i do promise you next time when i do try this hairstyle or something similar i will be showing you the footage of the hair at the back so you just start off by just taking a small piece of the front of your hair and separating it into three like how i'm doing right here and then you go ahead and you know braid as how you would normally like your conros so you you, you would go in once you would go in twice you'd go in thrice i guess just however however long you want your hair to look in the beginning basically so if you want it super thin in the beginning they just really goes as long as you want but if you go too long i realize that it becomes too thin and just doesn't look nice anymore so you just do it like maybe once or twice and then you start feeding in the hair so i feed in the hair from my index my is it the index finger yes index finger and then i i, I, I allow the hair to go under the index finger and then i feed in once and then i go back in again with another hair piece feed in the index finger I think I might um, if you if you are interested guys I might have to do a proper proper tutorial on this because yes it did take me the whole day to figure out but I finally did because I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me hallelujah okay so going back again with the hair piece underneath the index finger holding the hair pushing it back and then going in with the plate once then the second time the second time when, or when the finger comes back out in the open then i feed again so it's like once feeding the hair piece and then the second time i i bring in a new piece of hair yes so it's like feeding the hair basically that's what it is that's the best way i think i can explain it from how i've I, how i learned it i feed the hair with the index finger i go in once and the second time when my finger comes back out to face me or comes out in the open i feed it again with hair it's really the best way i can explain it and this is i think the best method i will leave a link in the description box down below of who i specifically learned this technique from they probably might be able to explain it better than i do guys because yes i am a beginner in feeding braids so yes this was my first attempt and i decided to record it because i was so super proud guys okay so if you're also someone who's into here go ahead and try this because you better know if I can do it, sis, you can do it too. And voila, guys, I was so shook. It, I couldn't believe. Yes, I mean, it's not like 100% super neat or super tidy or super crisp as I would love it to be. But I mean, 
the lines are precise they are accurate the size is accurate everything is like wow i was like lord you're so kind i didn't realize i could do this until i tried it so guys anybody can do this yeah and yeah that's the finished that's the finished hair with the hair in the back of course i didn't show you guys the back but i promised on the next hairstyle i will show you guys then I went in and used uh, my mousse from Revlon, my Flex Mousse, just to set everything, put everything together. And that's what it's looking like in the end with my edges all out. And the back as well, the little bun there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.